Hello everyone, and yet again we're back for some Sussex Premier Cricket League action. And this will be all your first visits down to the Barker Meads this season, home of Three Bridges Cricket Club. As I've mentioned in other videos, and those who keep an eye on our Play Cricket scorecards would have seen, our home matches have all been rained out this year so far. But a little bit of consistent sun and dry weather means that we're finally able to get a game on at Crawley's Premier Cricket venue. On a pitch we weren't too sure how it would play, Walker lost the toss and we were stuck into bat by today's visitors, Cookfield Cricket Club. And we've got James Russell facing up to the first over of the day. And from the other end, we've got Sammy Cooper. After Cooper's lucky inside edge, Cookfield are the ones grinning now. Russ the first to go to the first ball of the spell, the left arm spin of Goss. Which brings out Connor Golding to the crease in the 10th and final over of what's been a tight power play. What a pluck that is down in front of the clubhouse. Cooper, who probably thought he'd got away with that one, is on his way from that spectacular grab. The score 59 for 2 in the 15th. After last week's heroics, overseas Thorne doesn't quite get that right and chips to the Cookfield overseas without troubling the scorers. This tight start from Cookfield being rewarded with their third wicket of the day. And now it's over to skipper Joey to spend some time at the middle and hopefully put some runs on the board. Yeah! 
Con drills that straight back to Cookfield skipper Hayward and a sharp return catch sees the end of his innings. And at 70 for four from 20, we find ourselves in a little bit of a bother. Ollie goes, bold leg stump, trying to ease some of the pressure and manipulate the field. Cookfield now with a job half done and bowling well on what isn't a traditionally flat Bridges pitch. At least that's what the top order is telling the groundsman. So 30 overs up and still with plenty of time to bat, the score is 105 for 5. A bit of confusion there, prodding forward, no idea where the ball went. But some smart work from the keeper and a bounce straight into his glove sees the next Bridges bat on his way. On your bike. That scampering brings up the half man's half century. A slightly different situation and innings to last Saturday, but very valuable runs for us in our time of need. Cool, that sums things up for us, doesn't it? Joe rocking back to dispatch the short delivery and putting it straight into mid-wicket's grasp. 10 overs left and 140 for seven. Over to George Cave to join Brownie and try and get us up to at least 200. Aaron goes on the sweep and his counter-attacking 43 run innings comes to an end.
Rowan, the next man out sweeping. And that 200 run mark, again, the target to get us another batting bonus point, as well as a small psychological lift. George Cave with some very handy runs at the end. Indeed, getting us over 200 runs to 211 for nine from our 50. His 31 not out showing some of us how to do it out there today. But despite the soft dismissals and poor decision making from us, Cookfield did bowl tight throughout and their slow bowlers did make things tricky for us with pick of the bowlers, Josh Hayward taking five for 34. Both teams have to bat on it and it's over to the bowlers to try and get the batsmen out of jail today. They'll have to bowl extremely well and more than likely take 10 wickets to win. Cookfield's overseas South African Wes Marshall takes an immediate liking to these short straight bridges boundaries and it seems like he wants this game won while the pink ball is still hard. That cry from Brownie, the bowler, says it all. Cooper won't want to watch that one again. And you can't give batsmen like that a second chance, especially if we want to defend 211. Without adding to his score since that dolly, Aaron sends that across the bat and Joe does the rest, diving across to his right. Cooper, the most relieved man in Sussex currently. So the power play done and 64 for one from 10 overs and we've got George Cave continuing from the top.
Joe changing the bowling up from both ends, searching for that second wicket. But Cookfield youngster Henry Rogers continuing to make his toil and raising the bat for 50. So just 87 needed for Cookfield and they're making this chase look pretty simple so far. Rowan Norda, you beauty. That one gripping and turning through the gate to remove the set batsman. And we'll need a few more moments of magic to swing the momentum back our way. Ollie B with our third wicket. Cookfield bat Alex Thornhill chopping onto the stumps. And these pink ball matches really are innings of two halves. When the ball softens up, scoring runs isn't always as easy. And with another couple of wickets, we might claw our way back into this. And that's another for Ollie, taking leg stump out of the ground with his right arm fast. A big wicket and now six wickets to take before the visitors score 55 runs for victory. Leg stump again for Blanford and a flurry of wickets is getting us back into this. But have we got enough on the board? Rowan and Joe combined for a sixth, and it could be getting a little nervy in the Cookfield camp. Plans need to be set, and with a wicket needed desperately, Connor's back on to, well, hopefully take the remaining four for us. Thirteen runs needed for Cookfield. The overs are completely out of the equation now. Unsure whether that one carried, but four very valuable runs for the visitors. And albeit an incredible collapse, should go on to win from here with just seven needed. And that's game, set and match Cookfield. The better team today with both bat and ball. A destructive knock from Marshall to get the chase started and then held together by Rogers and Canfield to get them over the line. Some good spells from Ollie and Rowan in the middle to try and shift the match back our way. But ultimately, we're a good 40 runs short at least with the game lost in that first innings. Thanks everyone for watching. We're back next week for our match against Eastbourne. We shall see you then. Goodbye.